Now here's something I've been getting ever since introducing the story of the top 5 strongest so right now I'm here to clear up and basically give you guys a little bit of info as to what would happen if Murno actually battled against these guys so when talking about Budo I think that Murno is it's safe to say that Murno beats Budo but the only interesting factor about Budo is Budo is able to shapeshift into anything right so if Budo wanted to he could actually morph himself into the original Murno and then we would actually witness Murno versus Murno and then what you know what I mean so I think that when it comes down to pure skill pure intelligence pure wittiness and I think durability stamina all of that stuff Murno hands down takes it and we're only gonna talk about Budo in this respect right because the only others that may actually have a chance against him are Takeda and of course Yoshido Yoshido with of course the ability to possess souls so if Murno isn't careful enough similar to what Cumber did to Goku we can kind of see a similar thing happen with Yoshido kind of going about by trying to possess and manipulate Murno's essence and his vessel to his bidding but then again that in and of itself certainly by no means is an easy thing to accomplish you know what I mean so either way right now what I'm really loving about this and not for nothing this Murno mod is probably one of my favorite mods in the entire game which mind you once again if you guys want to download these mods for yourselves I will be posting all of these on my patreon patreon.com slash unreal and gaming if you guys want to support the fan mangas if you guys want to support the soundtracks and everything we do then all of your contributions will go a long way with that so again link will be located down in the description box below and the pinned comment section which again I also want to clarify one thing to say that in this particular situation when involving the story of the top five strongest this verse this story takes place in an entirely different timeline and circumstances and events than what had transpired during the events of Murno's war with the multiverse per se you know what I mean so I've seen a lot of people talk about well where's Murno well this is not Murno's story Murno's story is over and done with right but I will say this right so the only thing that Budo could have the advantage here is if he simply ends up shape-shifting and creating replicas of the original Murno that's the only I guess advantage that he would have and you guys are gonna see what I mean as of course Goku ends up fighting Budo and all of these things end up transpiring and when it comes down to Akuma as well Akuma is a master of reality warping a master of manipulation a master magician right a master sorcerer so you know he would have the advantage by being able to do certain things my god did you see that we just time skipped him into an oblivion we're gonna run that back one more time but when it comes down to akuma we're gonna go on ahead and kind of emphasize further on the advantages that he may have and certainly the advantages he would have in this fight against Murno. So now that we kind of know what would happen if Murno fought Budo, well, what about Akuma? So Akuma could have the advantage by messing with Murno's mind and kind of go as far as to have Murno question his very existence, question the very fabric of reality. But remember, Murno was shown transcending and even especially particularly when he fought the Grand Priest, they were going through different timelines, they were smashing through reality. We've never seen that be done before within the fan manga community before I came along to introduce that, right? So as soon as we saw how each and every single one of his punches with the Grand Priest affected all of reality, that's how you kind of knew that the scale, the depth and scale of this fight was on such a level that nobody else could even compete. Now, Budo would come close in maybe being able to kind of scratch and harm Murno per se, just a little bit, but by the end of it, Budo loses. By the end of it, Akuma loses. By the end of it, Yoshido would lose if he doesn't possess his soul fully. And of course, you know, we already know that the Grand Priest, of course, once he uses his Omni form, it's over, right? Now, in terms of Takeda being able to have precognition, being able to have the ability to kind of look into your mind and see things way ahead of time, this guy kind of knows what you're about to do before you actually end up doing it, you know? So in that particular case, he would have the advantage to predict exactly what Murno is going to do. But I think that when it comes down to, you know, sheer wit, and if the fight is actually prolonged, then Murno takes the cake. This is actually pretty scary because this version of Murno, I don't even have to do anything, dude. I'm just like, I'm, at this point, I'm just ramming myself into him. And that's exactly how this fight would go. You know what I mean? And again, just bear in mind that both stories are different. Both stories are going to possess 
their you know unique kind of traits to them that make them that will make them stand out so look at yo are you seeing this look at the way Murno is just dodging everything and that's another huge advantage that Murno would have against Budo is the instinctive ability to use Ultra Instinct whenever because of course he was the first angel he was the first you know angel to train the others as well so he would have all of the knowledge on basically everything at this point so this I, i'm not gonna lie budo at this point he's lasted a bit longer than i thought he would and even though i'm inflicting a lot of damage to him and i'm really hitting him with oh he's trying to attack me from behind you see this is exactly what would happen if a circumstance like this were to occur now i'm not gonna say that I wouldn't do a story like this, but I will be the first to let you guys know this, right? So if you want me to kind of do a little bit of a special, even though I don't want to, because I want to wrap up and keep Murno's story sealed, if you guys want to see a little bit of a special for next year, then let me know down in the comment section below. Yay or nay, Murno versus the top five strongest in the multiverse. And if we end up doing that, it's gonna be a one and done thing. It's not gonna be an ongoing story. It's not going to be a series. It's going to be a one and done, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how dangerous Murno is, of course, by reintroducing him against the five strongest. So again, thank you all so much for watching, guys. Thank you all so much for your time. If, of course, you guys are new, then be sure to go on ahead and smash that subscribe button. Give this video a big fat thumbs up right now by giving this video a thumbs up. Also, follow me on Instagram, Twitter. Those links will also be located down below. And with that being said, I'll be seeing each and every single one of you down in the comment section below and in the next video. Take it easy, guys, and have a great day. Peace.